Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of the game that keeps on giving. Can you believe this game is still getting patched? No, it's, it's not. It's the HD version that's getting patched though, the HD mod uh, that's still getting patched. Since I started playing this fourth campaign, I've gotten at least two patches? Maybe three? At, at, at least, because the last one I've been actually postponing, because it only tells me that it needs an update after I launch the game for some reason. Uh, so I just sort of, eh, never mind. Let's just play this game because it's amazing, a lot of fun, and no wonder, really, that, uh, that people uh, keep working on it because it is fantastic. Now, what are we doing? Well, we're basically... Ooh, a seer side over here. We're basically continuing to, uh, to dominate the above world, or the overworld, or whatever. Uh, and we have a Seer's Hut. Is that a mission that I have to do? Long ago, powerful wizards were able to create magical artifacts, but time has caused us to forget how to make new items. I would like to learn these techniques myself, but I need one of these artifacts first to see how it was done. If you could bring me the Tome of Fire Magic, you would be well rewarded. Thank you very much. What is the Tome of Fire Magic? Contains all spells in the School of Fire Magic. Holy crap, that is quite amazing. I don't have that. I don't think anybody has that. Um, I guess I could see. I guess I could check out and see if we have any, but we don't. So where would this be? I don't know. Also, we have, uh, or we should have, scenario info. That's not what it is. Where's the uh, view world, kingdom overview? There's a, a thing that tells us about um, about uh, the missions we have. Oh, quest log. That's the one. So we have this one, and we have the spirit. Spiridon, the seer, uh, and it's for that shield over there that looks pretty cool. Let's see if we have it, because I think that one I might actually have. Because I remember... No, what I remember is uh, this sword. Yeah, so not the shield. That's the one. Okay, moving on, because it's day seven, so we need to move on. What do we have? A, oh, I could, I could do that. I could kill it. I could kill it. Oh, they, no, they want to flee. That's the best thing. Okay, what do I have over here? Uh, I got a slow, which is actually quite cool, especially if I cast it on you. I'm gonna delay there, I'm gonna delay, uh, and delay, and delay. Not delay, I guess, but just wait. Uh, and that's not too shabby. Okay, and then I can send you up there in hopes that you get... No, you didn't. Okay, uh, that's actually quite good. I'm not gonna be able to kill... To kill... Well, I might be able to kill these two. Oh, that was pretty awesome. Nobody died. Fantastic. Thank you, Pegasi. Uh, and then over here, I'm... I might do enough damage. Uh, but I'm not gonna do it. There's no reason to push that right now. And the reason why there's no reason is because the dragons will do part of the damage. And soak part of the damage. Well, now you can kill them. There it is. Ooh, perfect. Actually, not perfect. <laughs> I forgot about that. Actually, forgot that these guys were low on health and forgot that they couldn't kill them both or two of them. Basic ballistics or fire expert. Yep. Uh, was that one? Uh, reduced costs? Yeah. I do I do need to learn about that, but it doesn't really matter because we have won this battle. At least I think so. Because in this game, in this awesome strategy game, I haven't visited there. Why is that? Because I'm waiting. That's right. Uh, actually, I've visited that one. Yeah, but I haven't visited this one. So let's do that. Thank you very much, and then I can come back. Okay, you can stay there because you're getting a new uh, army next turn or next week. Uh, plus, uh, what is what are what is she? She's a cleric, I think. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Okay. Um, so what was I saying? I was saying something. I was saying something. The item I forgot. Oh yeah, about this. Uh, what usually happens with strategy games, specifically with StarCraft, which is the strategy game, not just with StarCraft, but I I'm, I have a relatively limited experience. Can I go there? Is that okay? Maybe it is okay? Hmm. I have a relatively limited experience with real-time uh, strategy games. I think this guy might be preparing to assault here. And that's a bad thing. No, because he's going to kill Christian. And Christian is like level 2 and good. Uh, it's it's going to be fine. I'm still going to uh, save just in case I screw everything up. Okay, let's see what happens. And I'll continue my storyline. Or my storyline. My story about uh, about um, real-time with boss things. that I, Or real-time strategy games that I was going to talk about. Uh, so we have... Yeah, so this wouldn't be a bad idea to get the Mage's Guild. So I could get some, some skills going. Uh, maybe... Maybe I need a fort to start getting these things. Let's not focus on this town for right now. 
Let's focus on this one because we do need to upgrade some stuff uh, in the Mages Guild up there. So let's go with the Griffin Tower because those guys are nice. They can be nice anyway. Uh, over here, what do you have? Oh, no, not that one. Uh, so upgraded things over here. Mages Guild, Fountain of Fortune. Mm, that sounds better than it actually is, which is pretty good, but yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Mages Guild. I mean, it's a little bit out of the way, but that's because of the dragons, of the upgraded green dragons. Uh, and then over here, what do we have? We got canals, we got fire lake that cannot be built, or the Forsaken Palace. And then we can do that eventually. Birthing pools, that increases production per or of imps. Yeah, cages. Uh, Hellhound production, that's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna go with that, actually. Because Hellhounds are much better than imps. Imps are good for tanking. And nothing else. Uh, that's nice, actually. Okay, I'm not gonna build that, but that's nice. What do you have over here? In our new towns. Uh, castle things, these are all upgrades, which is nice. We got the birthing pool, brimstone, uh, hero, yeah. Okay, uh, that's fine. Let's see the other one. This one I can get. Well, actually, you know what? Nah, I don't know what. So let's go with that. And now let's go back to this first, first town so I can get that over there. And uh, we'll see what, how things progress. Turn, yeah. Oh. Well, that was a failure. That was pretty bad. Not the end of the world. Certainly not the end of the world. Because I'm going to kill them. Uh, but apart from that detail, that was pretty bad. So, let's figure out what I'm doing over here. Loinies, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? You are, yeah, trading troops. That's not a bad idea. You can do that. So, do that. And, oh no, you didn't trade all the troops. Why? Because those guys are crap. Okay, take those and then give these. Because I don't use those too often. Uh, we've visited that. We have learned blind. That's definitely good. Uh, and then we have more things up there. Which I kind of don't want to take right now. Because it's it's possible that... I wonder if I can go there, I suppose. Uh, it's possible that um, that there's a, a, a city over there. So I'm, I'm going to have to focus on that. Uh, so here we go. I think it's gonna be totally fine. They did steal a few of our things, but with any luck they got a building done or something uh, So yeah about my strategy uh, my real-time strategy experience uh, It's not actually that great um, At all and the reason for that is because I am a huge Starcraft fan. Well, I'm a relatively a mildly I'm a mildly mild Starcraft fan um, And I played a lot of Starcraft when I was a kid uh, well, when I was a kid, when I like a teenager, I suppose. That's better. Mm, this they are killing my archers. This is not good. I could have done. I couldn't. I couldn't have done anything about it. So there we go. We killed Rashka. Ooh, this guy was good. Was good. And we got experience. And we got the Mystic Orb of Mana, which allows us to gain mana per turn, per day. Three. That's pretty amazing, actually, for a cleric who had no mana. That is pretty amazing. Going there because you get spell power. Uh, and with any luck, you get more skills and, and things. Uh, it's just just so you are a little bit better. Pretty good. Um, so my my um, real time strategy games are basically not even Warcraft. That's I, I did play Warcraft three for a little while, um, but not even just I can't count that as as part of my repertoire of games that I've played. So yeah, quite limited. One thing though, and this is why I started talking about this. One thing that I've noticed that I even mentioned on my Let's Play of StarCraft uh, is that mostly, uh, so you're a warrior or something, a battle mage, eh, that's, eh, that's actually quite okay. Uh, no, although you do have, no, you don't have aggressive things, it's fine. Um, and should I wait? I should. Yeah, I should. I'm gonna wait. Because uh, we need to upgrade things here anyway. Uh, and one of the things that I've noticed is that usually the maps are made with fairly stactic units. So basically, instead of giving uh, an arm or a, an opponent uh, or a faction, as I suppose that's the correct correct way of saying it, a faction just uh, resources that the AI is going to take care of. Basic tactics. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Um, Instead of doing that, what the developers usually do is they set up their defensive situations and all that. Uh, defensive emplacements and all that sort of stuff. And that happens even with another game that I really enjoy, which is uh, Company of Heroes. because Also because that game really needs that because it doesn't have very 
basic structure of base upgrading or anything. There are some things that you can do, but for the most part, it's just mostly you put down the troops on the map creator, and uh, and that's that. Which is okay, but the, the problem with that is that it doesn't reward... Uh, and that's that's how I've been trained, and that's the problem. Doing maps like that does... I don't think I'm going to create anything else here. Uh, doesn't reward... Basically doesn't reward... Uh, let's just pay attention to what I'm doing here, guys. I'm sorry. As I'm talking, mix things and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and I don't think I... Order of fire? Eh, maybe. If somebody's visiting. <laughs> if somebody visits. Oh, no. Oh, they're taking... Oh, uh, this might be good. Hopefully. Okay. So, you get that. And uh, then you're gonna join... Then you're gonna come over here. Not there. But over there. Because that's the hope. Is for us to bring these guys back. Get them upgraded. And then send them... Send somebody else away or something. I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. But what that sort of uh, map building ha uh, makes happen is um, that turtling is very effective, basically because the units of the, because the enemy is very powerful right at the beginning because they basically have their units set up. Um, what happens is, yeah, I get all the pikemen. Uh, what happens is that you you'll just you know you won't be able to attack. You won't physically won't be able to attack because early on I should say. Uh, because, you know, the enemy is just so powerful. What is our army over here? I know what the stables do. Shut up. Oh, that's a pretty good army. Okay. Let's go to the demon gate. Oh, no, no, let's not. Let's go over there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I know where I am. I remember this, this sort of tactical decision that I make, made before. Okay, so you get that. And uh, there's no point in going up there. There's no point in going anywhere, really. So, I'm going to leave you over here for, for convoying. I think that's going to be a good thing. Let's leave you over here, though. Uh, for, no, there's no reason to convoy. Yeah, there's no reason to convoy at he, uh -oh, but in this situation, at least as far as I can see. So let's just leave you over there, and it's going to be fine. So so on the one hand, it, it, it kind of rewards you for turtling, but on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, it also... Do, that and that's the biggest problem. That's the biggest issue, and one of the reasons why StarCraft Online, someone boat, nice. Uh, why StarCraft Online is such a different game altogether. Lots of hellhounds. Lots is I think about thirty, and we really can't deal with that. So let's go and do that. How about that? Uh, the, the, I, uh, if anything, the the um, the logic of this mission has been um, close calls. So I mean, we might be able to do it. It's not too bad. It's ki it's kind of bad, but just not not terribly so. It's a little bit bad. Okay, so let's see what spells we have, because that might help a lot as well. So we got curse. We got magic arrow that does sixty damage, which is that's not that's not enough. We got haste if we can, uh, if we could. And these guys, the curse is f t t terrible. How long does that last? Cause a spell of any me inflict minimum damage. I'm just gonna curse these guys to hell. And let's just do that. So, yeah, one of the reasons why StarCraft Online is so different is that it actually... So, can we do much damage? Well, yeah, we can. How much damage are you going to be able to do? Certainly not as much as that. Certainly not as much as you. Um, is that, like, the early game strategies are so uh, vast and varied that you can have, like, you can have everything figured out. And it's like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to build this base. I'm going to attack with these units uh, and yada, yada, yada. And you just decide in, on, on what your strategy is going to be. And then what happens is that when you put it to place, the enemy sends a small little unit that, you know, before you can even... That's known as rushing. Uh, and people get very upset with that. But for... How did you go first? For valid reasons, I would say. But they get very upset. But it's mostly their own shortcoming, I should say. Or I would say. Uh, because uh, rushing can totally be prevented, and you should account for that in a real-time strategy game. Now, for StarCraft, it, it, there was a, a wall. It's known as zerging because the zergs were per were perfect for that. It's just like it changed the, uh, the the scene, as it were, which is kind of phenomenal, really, when you think about it. But zerging is sort of it's so. I guess zerging is not really the rushing part, but so I'm, I might be mis. Mis, uh, misinformed there. It's not really the rushing part. Zerging is just sending everybody in, which is 
sort of different, I think. Uh, but anyway, it's so it's something that the campaign just doesn't train you for, which is strategically and expediently building things early on. And I think that's one. That's the. I think that's the biggest shortcoming of. Uh, that's pretty good. Advanced scholar. I mean, that's not bad either. And she could go around and teach things. I can do that. So that's not too bad. And we got a redwood observatory that I don't want because it just screws with my exploration. So that was a, a close call. Um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a close call. I figured it out immediately that it wasn't going to be a close call. Um, that was a bad decision. Eh, it wasn't too bad. It's fine. It's okay. What what do we have over here? Learn artillery. Do you have artillery? You know, you don't have anything, so I suppose you can go down there and, and do things. Um, and that was the bit for me. It was the biggest shortcoming in this game uh, of StarCraft. I mean, uh, in this game, it is considerably. It's a very. It's a very different situation, because this game doesn't do that. I mean, it does that from time to time. It is very specific, very situational, where some. Um, where some enemies will have... Sp I'm just gaining so much money now because of all my towns. Where some enemies will have a lot of troops in a specific place that they will never reinforce. As far as I can tell so far, anyway. Uh, why can't you build this? Don't have the tools? Yeah, I don't have sulfur. Oh. Don't these towns have something that gives me sulfur? Let's see. Resource silo? Brimstone? Cla no. I thought they did. Maybe it's up here, or maybe it's built already. Hmm. And it, yeah, so basically this game, I th that's the reason. Man, I just go so far away to come to the original point. I'm kind of glad that I didn't forget about what my original point was. Uh, it's the reason why I am very, very confident. Because of, I mean, also because this is difficulty 2 out of 5, the mission. Um, but also the fact that we had so so many close calls right at the beginning I'm really optimistic about how crippled the enemy is uh, simply because we had those close calls early on so yeah yay for destruction destruction and uh, now you have do you have a spell book yes you do uh, okay so you don't actually can't, you can't actually learn things Ooh. hmm I could, I could do that is that a good idea yeah suppose you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, we got these guys over here. That gives false information to an enemy attempting to view your hero. Yeah. I don't... Apparently that works well with the AI. I, I think I mentioned that before. Uh, I mentioned, I mentioned this, this uh, unit before. Because I figured it wouldn't work very well with, uh, with the AI. But apparently it does. I still believe it's better for... I mean, believe as in the sense <laughs> that I have no experience with it whatsoever online. But I still believe it would be better for online rather than... Uh, offline because you know people are dumber and smarter and work just work differently uh, so that's pretty good Christian thank you very much uh, you're gonna be sent back um, you could be anywhere really it's just it's be sent back elsewhere um, so you're gonna go there we could make like a little a little path for all our heroes although if I got the scholar on her which I don't think I'm gonna get a scholar level five or whatever to teach all the spell books or spells, but sp spell levels. Uh, so you're waiting over here. You can go over here and uh, train more of your units, which is the point of this. Because once I have my single and very powerful army, uh, nobody's gonna be able to stop me really. Because of course not. Well, look at that. It used to be that you couldn't do what I just did, which is drop the wall unit in. Because he would just say, oh, you can't, or we wouldn't work or something. I don't, I don't remember exactly how it worked. But I remember it not working. So that was very nice. Uh, let's see. So you can, need to go over here. Let's do this properly and see that you need attack skill. And you haven't visited the stables. Why not? Why not? Oh, because you came from the wrong place. Or not the wrong place, but a completely different way. That's fine. I wonder if there's... Is there a unit over here? Why doesn't he show up over here? He doesn't, does he? I mean, there's a little bit of a, an icon over there. Hmm. Sure. Let's let's bring you back over here. Just just for kicks. Um, okay, so now this way, we have lots of Cerberi. And I, I, those I don't think I can kill. So, so Especially not... I mean, maybe I can, actually. Let's level up a little bit. Not level up, but let's get... 
that and let's take care of these lots of Cerberi. Because it's basically the same battle as the one before, except instead of being Hellhounds, it's just Cerberi. And we got basic artillery over here. Uh, six shields of the de shield of the damned. Yeah. Oh, there's things down there. There's many things everywhere. Nice. Uh, and then you're standing over here, and uh, we just have the units. And I can start with these things. So why can't I build that? Because I need guardhouse and barracks. Yeah, just go ahead and do that. It's fine. Uh, one or more heroes. I know. I know. I don't know why I needed to check that one. Look, this rate we're gonna have to. We're gonna be able to wait for another week. But when when things are so far away, it's it's um it's always a temptation to wait another week. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually gonna send the army up through here and kill that and uh, so that means oh I can build level 5 there's no level f oh wait a minute there's a specific faction there's a specific faction that has level 5 um, I think there's a specific faction or a specific town type uh, that has level 5 mages guild it might be these guys I guess we'll find out okay so you get that and you're going down there. Let's see. You. Do you have level 5? No, 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 not that. No, not that either. Oh, my God. I'm thinking yes. But I guess we're not going to be able to tell now. But there's no indication there either. So maybe maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Okay, so you go over here, please. Thank you very much. Get nothing. And then continue going around, really. Just not doing much. Or, I mean, apart from getting yourself to be better. Uh, do you want to go over there? Sure. Oh, boy. It's a little bit out of the way. Eh, should be fine. There it is. Uh, and that's you. Nope. Who's that? Nah, you're out of action point, so whoever that is doesn't matter. Now, let's pull this off and just win. Okay, so this is actually a pretty awesome... A pretty awesome um, defensive position. Oh, they can't go around. Yeah, we can't go around. Let's see what happens. So these guys will... They have a thing that... I think they attack everyone around them. Okay, so those guys are basically toast. Uh, Three-headed attack. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Uh, so, curse you. And then if I do this... That's actually a waste. So I'm gonna sacrifice my hellhounds. Uh, maybe it isn't a waste, actually. Okay. Uh, let's attack you. Can't do much here. At all. Can send you over there. Can defend with you. Yeah. So that's pretty nasty. Uh, can't curse. So I'm gonna attack you. And now I'm gonna attack you and kill. And I can attack you. So this is gonna be basically down to down to whether their troops are capable of killing my troops not about strategy at least as far as I can tell uh, so let's get you over here yeah that was that was a reasonable strategy there and then you can attack here I don't think they would be able to uh, get past oh that's nasty Please don't do that. Can I kill you? No, I can't. Uh, so let's do this. And now, can I kill you? Probably not. Definitely not. But these guys are very powerful. So that's kind of nice. That's definitely nice. Uh, so I attack you. And I attack you. Oh, nice. Very cool. Oh, no. Oh, they didn't attack everybody. Nice. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Not too shabby, and I think this connects to the green bit. Oh, lots of demons. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna happen. There's a lot of things in here, though. Oh, it connects up the. Oh, there's so many deadly things. Well, I've done and I've gone and done some work, um, so that's nice. So I all I need is bring the other army through there, and good things are gonna happen. And then you are gonna go over here, and then you, in particular, can't get that. That's for um, defending troops, so I need to be fighting. I kind of want to go there, and I can. So what? What? What are we? Uh, what are we missing for that? 
We are missing, so n yeah, probably just sulfur. No, not just sulfur. Sulfur and, and gems. Should be okay, so I can uh, get that for that. And it doesn't really matter what I pay, because it's always the same, basically. Because I can sell and buy and the thing and all that. Eh, is it all the same? No, it's not. Is it? Maybe it isn't. Anyway, I did that. I did that. It probably isn't, actually. It wouldn't make too much sense that it would. So there we go. I think we're going to be able to have level 4 um, down over here. Depends on how or what we're going to win or what we're going to earn next turn. So let's see. Yeah, those guys are kind of worrying me a little bit. Uh, and also the fact that I'm going to have to spend a lot of money down here is worrying me a little bit. Uh, should I? Oh, yeah, I can't. Okay, so I will first focus on get... What? Oh, angels. Uh, requires one gem. I can do that. Okay, uh, you need one gem. I need one gem, I should, I should say. Yeah, it's definitely better to do it like that. What? It's not gems? Huh. Why? Well, I can't upgrade. Oh, it's two gems. Oh, boy. That's quite expensive. Um, so, I need one, two... Is that how it goes? Yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. I don't know why I had... I miscounted my gems or something. Okay, it's pretty good. And then you guys are all upgraded. You are not upgraded. You are neither. And you are good to go. And you guys need to be upgraded. So, no, not that. So, I can put you over here. Uh, can I? Oh, I can't, because of course... No, that's fine. Uh, so, and the, the other thing I want, and now that I've spent all my money, which actually wasn't that much, uh, is to build this. So, I'm going to require f six sulfurs, uh, eight gems, and uh, that's about that, really. So, let's go with that. There it is. And uh, now sell all the wood for the sulfurs. Not all the wood, because that's probably a bad idea. And there we go. Are we there? Did we actually pull it off? We did indeed. Which means... If you are good enough at learning all these things, which you... Are. So, 5th level spells. Well, they definitely are, because this is 4th le level. Let's see if I can get 5th level over here. No, I can't. Okay, that's not, that's not a surprise. Now, I can bring all of these troops down here. And great things will happen. Specifically because I'm gonna send you up here, learn more spells, uh, e even maybe be able to get more troops, because we can get archers. So that's really nice, right there. And I can hire them from there, which is also pretty amazing. Learning all the things, and then getting over there, and good things are gonna happen. But unfortunately, they're gonna have to happen next episode, because for right now, we're out of time. So, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Heroes of Mighty Magic 3. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. That guy's gonna die. And I, uh, and, 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 but above all, thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you very much. I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.